Hello and welcome to the show, All the Rage, with me, Camden T. Rage. Giving you some of the local performers and people that are big personalities within the community. Getting you to know them a little bit better than you already see them when they're on the shows and doing what they do on a day-to-day -day basis or night-to-night -night basis, depending on what it is. So tonight with me, I have one of the creators of one of my favorite shows, Drag Me to Hell. This is Chaotica. Hello. Um, Chaotica is the creator of a competition called Drag Me to Hell. It's more for the alt lifestyle. Um, I don't even know why I'm trying to explain it. I'll let the creator explain it. Tell us a little bit about Drag Me to Hell and what it's all about. Hi, Chaotica <laughs> here. Um, as Cameron said, I am the creator of Drag Me to Hell. Um, it is a kind of like alt, alternative punk rock grungy kind of underground drag competition. It kind of strays away from the main theme of drag, which is like femininity, like female impersonation. Um, it's more so experimentation with artwork and dark stuff. Uh, Jay Jolie from RuPaul's Drag Race actually created it. She has her um, segment in Louisville, Kentucky at play. I run the Florida division of that. Yay! And it's a yearly thing. It was postponed, unfortunately, due to world situations but yeah. it should be coming back hopefully soon yay we'd like to hear that it's a really good show if you haven't gotten to see it some of us are really loyal fans of it and become like fans of it it's a really great show so when it does come back make sure you can find it find chaotica on her facebook page uh what else are you on instagram instagram chaotica underscore mua facebook um the asylum drag me to hell page which it won't be at the asylum anymore because that's <laughs> shut down so until i find a new venue just follow the page the page name will be changing you've actually been involved in a lot of drag me to hell with judging yeah so she's actually one of my favorite judges to have yay so yeah so enough about drag me to hell i just wanted to get that out of the way and like get to discuss like it but i, I it's a great competition just check it out um but i, I want to get to you the person the, the boring the, the 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 boring if you want to say so i find you not one bit boring um so what is chaotica's story oh god um it's honestly not that interesting but pretty much i grew up in titusville pennsylvania which was like a country backwoods I've country bumpkin <laughs> shit been through it <laughs> oh, can i swear on this huh can we swear on this yeah is that okay yeah oh yeah please it's free it's free that's not yeah um yeah, nothing up there for people like me. I've always been like an artist and a painter and someone who's been eclectic. And just bars and churches and that's not me. So I graduated and three months after graduating, actually two months after graduating, I moved to Tampa, Florida. And that was in 2011. And I started drag. Well, I started retail, which sucks. So if you're in retail, <laughs> get out. Um, and then I started drag in 2004. 13, I want to say. That sounds about right. 2013 or 14 at Krabari Club. Yep. And that's gone through a few name changes. But yeah, it's been a few so nice, many fabulous many. years yeah. of experimenting and failing and trying again. And here we are. Yay! The Chameleon Queen of Florida. I like that. The mm -hmm. I love to know people's buildings. That's always like, I'm the queen of crazy. So, like, that's me. I'm just, I, want I do whatever. Huh? I wanted to change my name to that, but I don't know if that's. What? Professional will do now. What? To change your name. I, I wouldn't. Game. I wouldn't because yeah. Chaotica has made a statement. You've made a statement with that name. You know, you, you're well known through that name. So I wouldn't True. Yeah, if I was you. Um, what's the uh, most important thing that we should know about you? To never expect the same thing. Oh. And that's why I like to consider myself a chameleon queen because I don't obviously fit the generic mold of drag. Um, I always like to be different and showcase something different, whether that be through my artistry or my dancing or my somewhat of a personality. Somewhat of a personality. I'm very reserved, but once I start opening up, I'm never shutting up. I, I can get that. I can get that. I, I see where you say that and stuff. So I think even when I met you, I was more quiet. You were. When you first were Chaotica, like first started, you were like, like I said, you were always the little Peter Pan. Like, you were the Peter Pan of drag to me. Like, <laughs> I loved it. And I, I always loved that spirit, that energy. You were the wild, you know, the wild boys and things like that. So that's what I always thought about when I thought about seeing you on stage and 
seeing you perform for the first time, like that's what I always thought about you. Like yeah, you like a lost boy. boy. Yeah, I said the wild boys, lost boys, lost boys. Yeah, I was like, yeah, you win Disney trivia. Um, <laughs> I failed on that actually the other night. Do I? The little filter on Instagram where you do the Disney trivia. I failed. Oh, I gotta find this on Instagram. Okay, I'll find it and go from there. Um, what made you choose this profession? Um, I didn't. I wouldn't say I like chose it. The whole reason I started doing drag is because I knew from watching like RuPaul's Drag Race and stuff like that on TV. I was like, oh, I could do that. And then at the time I was in a relationship, not the best relationship, also working retail. Um, so pretty much my life just sucked. And my one friend, Jared, told me to start doing drag just because of like my artistry and working with makeup. And then it was actually our friend, Monica Malone, who got me into drag. And she told me to come out to Kravari Nightclub and do the talent shows. Wasn't prepared, so I took a whole week to prepare. Got my outfit from PartyCity.com. <laughs> so yes, I'm a Party City queen. And what you actually said on your live earlier kind of made me laugh because my first song was Annie Lennox Coochie. Was it? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Yeah. Wait, what did, what did you wear? Do you remember what you wore? Yes, it was a witch outfit. It was, and I was like outfit. an evil queen. Okay, you did it differently. I don't know what I had these uh, cheetah printed furry trip pants. Oh, no, you remember trip? Cool. You remember them? Yeah. And then I took a top, a white long sleeve top. I tied it up. I had balloons for kitties. So that's how that's how <laughs> naive I was to drag. I had a top hat. The, a bowler style and a cane. I kept on slapping the cane in my hand. That's all I could do the whole number. The so sweet dreams are made of these. Mine wasn't good at all. Yeah, yeah, it was the worst. Like Did you really interpretation. Pop? They popped later when I went to chest pop a girl. We, we chest popped each other and bloop, there they went. So I was like, oh, I need to go blow up some more, and I forgot I didn't have any more. Only brought two balloons. <laughs> I only brought two balloons because I thought I was going to be safe. Um, what excites you about this profession? Um, honestly, the people, the audience, I've always been a people person. Um, I've always liked talking to people, not in like big groups, which I got over that with like hosting that took me many years. Mm -hmm. Um, but just the people and meeting different people. I've worked with people I never thought I would have even had the chance to say hi to like people from RuPaul's Drag Race and like oh. local queens and local celebrities i like to call them um or like well-known people so yeah like the people i mean it's not so much like the performance aspect that's more so what happens after the stage all right oh yeah we're gonna probably lead us into like our next question which would be what accomplishments are you most proud of mm, definitely dragging me to hell i never thought in a million years i would I don't want to say producing, but I guess I am kind of producing. You are. You are. Yeah. Um, I guess that, because I've never been one to actually like sit back and be like, oh, wow, this is what I've done. This is what I created. This is what I accomplished. Mm -hmm. But when I do sit back and look at it, I'm like, wow, I do direct and produce and host and entertain yeah. and put it all together. And that is probably one of my biggest accomplishments that I'm most proud of is giving other people an outlet because I didn't really have... I mean, I had the talent shows I started in, but it was nothing like driving to hell or anything like this. I felt like I had to kind of fit into that cookie cutter mold and that's just not me. Oh. And then when I changed to like this and like the whole club kid era of drag, that's when I started dealing with myself. and Being you. Being me. Being your authentic self. Being chaotic. Yeah. Um, person. What person, uh, what personality trait would you say has gotten you in the most trouble in this industry? You know what I mean? Being too quiet. Being too quiet. Because I feel like if I did ask for help or if I was more like vocal with like what I needed or opinions or criticism or anything, I probably would be a lot further in my career. Mm -hmm. But I also like to do things myself and learn things myself. So that's probably like my biggest downfall is just I have to be more, help me. And not so. I got it. I'm good. And yeah. While inside, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Getting it like slack along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying. Um, who and what inspires you? 
Oh God. Who and what? Who and what inspires you? Like who inspires you? We'll go with that. Who inspires you? Is it bad to say myself? No. <laughs> no. I mean, There's honestly, like that. I'm my own worst critic, but I'm also always looking at what I'm doing and be like, whoa, what can I do to improve? I'm not saying I'm gonna improve the next time I do it. There might be like a few more tries, but probably myself. Um, just because I'm always trying to like one up myself or like transcend myself as an artist. Um, what inspires me is everything, color, seasons, weather inspires me for some reason, I don't know why. Um, like if it's raining outside and I feel more like dark mood and like gloomy. Uh, I'm the direct opposite. When it's raining mm -hmm. and moody, I'm like energized. Let's go. I'm ready. Like I love light. rainy and like gloomy. Cause you get, I get sick of the sun. We're in the sunshine state. I know that. And I'm very well aware of that. But yeah. like, trust me, like, I, I don't know what it is. It's something about like the rain and stuff. is just energizing. I want to be out in it. Like I feel, I'm definitely more creative. Except when it's hurricanes. Like gloomy. <laughs> that's, uh, that's the hurricanes. Definitely more creative when it's like gloomy, but it's more of an edgier creativity. All right. And then when it's sunny and bright out, I hate it, but that's more of a heightened energy, more vibrant colors, stuff like that. Tell us a little bit about like your art, because you you're not just an artist. You're you you as in an entertainer, but you're an artist as in art as well. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, so like I mentioned before, I am an artist or a painter. I've always been a painter ever since I was seven. I actually sold my first painting in, uh, I think ninth grade. I think it was ninth grade and uh, no, it wasn't ninth grade. I think it was middle school actually. I sold my first painting to a woman who was visiting my hometown from Germany. And so I actually have my first painting I ever sold and it's in someone's house in Germany. So, oh, wow. couldn't tell you her name or anything, but it was like a safari sunset. I don't know why she wanted a safari sunset since she lives in Germany, but whatever. Um, probably spruce up her house, probably a rabbit or a dead. She wants to give it a little life. <laughs> <laughs> um, but okay. yeah, I, I paint, I draw um, anything artsy I dabble in. And that's actually, I'm kind of using this global issue right now to kind of get out of the service industry and become a full-time artist just to myself. So, if anyone needs any painting done, hit me up on my Facebook or Instagram. Chaotica N U A. Underscore N U A. Underscore. Make sure you get that, that underscore in there, so people are gonna be like sadly confused. Um, I always say this, and it's just weird because we have the whole spectrum of the the rainbow. What's your favorite color and why? Black. <laughs> As you can and see, why? it just goes with everything <laughs> and it's the color of my lungs it's very so, slimming <laughs> if I have it inside I have to represent it outside and I I mean even though I say I hate retail I look like I work at the mall well you work at Hot Topic mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah welcome to Hot Topic welcome to Hot Topic help you. like oh my god um, I would love to work at Hot Topic though I'm not gonna lie I'm, I, <laughs> I think it would be fun. I would too. Everybody knows me. I collect pop dolls, so little pop figures. And um, I have over 500 of them. And, uh, I don't know. Is that many? I have over 500. I'm damn, I'm actually damn near pushing 600. Do you like keep a tally mark? I do. Booklet? Like the wall is at like right now, it's at like 585. I'm not kidding. I have like a lot of them. Like I collect, yeah. On that a wall is the yeah. I'm sitting on a small little fortune in there of those little babies. But um, what's your favorite song to perform and why? Oh God, it's hard for me to answer. Give give me your give me your playlist. Give me your playlist. Like songs or artists or whatever. Either. <sighs> Depending on the day, since I dabble between drag and club kid in both worlds. I could range anywhere from Britney Spears, Jesse J, all the way down to Green Day and AFI, Flyleaf. Oh, Paramore. I was just listening to Flyleaf the other day. I was like, oh my God. Um, I was like, Otep, thanks to you. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. Otep's the bomb. If y'all haven't gotten to listen to them, they are amazing. O T E P, they, she is the most amazing human being there is on the earth. Love her to pieces. So. 
definitely give them a check. Um, what is your perfect date? Because we know you, you mentioned a little single a minute ago, so... Probably July 9th, because it's my birthday. July 9th, because <laughs> it's your birthday? Oh, Give shit. me lots of presents. Right. Um, <laughs> perfect date? I don't know. It's been so long since I've been on one, I forgot. We had, we had Maya it. Valentine uh, not too long ago, and she uh, she said her perfect date was like, she like would go out to eat and then like want to go like putt putt golf or something like that what, what, what would be yours she's so generic yeah <laughs> um honestly mine's probably gonna be generic since being a country boy anything like in nature okay four wheeling i love jet okay. skiing i love but perfect date probably food definitely food maybe like a hike or a walk somewhere that's not downtown okay <laughs> Um, I go downtown all the time. What are you talking about? There's nothing wrong with that. That's just where I get a lot of Pokemon. I can't help it. So, I fell out of that. It's, a, it's the best place to get them. That's where they're at. Tim's Park. Get there. <laughs> is it open? Yeah. Um, well, yes, it's open, but there is a... Uh, yeah. Distance thing. Yeah, there's still the social distance thing. And you're probably not even playing on the place that they've got them blocked off, but people still... Break the there. rules. Do yeah. what they want. But yeah, I don't really have like a perfect date. Oh, okay. Um, if we're flowing, we're flowing. If we're vibing, we're vibing. It'll Do you out. belong to any families, like drag houses? Well, when I started, I went by Chaotica Divine because I was part of the Divine family, which I don't even know if you know, but Eliana Divine. I know all was Eliana. my drag mom oh, originally. Right. But... Obviously, I dropped the Divine <laughs> and yeah. just went with Chaotica. Just because mm, we were more so like friends than it felt more like a friendship than it felt like a family or right. like a some like a mentor. Um, so then from there, I kind of just dropped a line and started. What is kind of my own? What does family in the sense mean to you when you think of family and the word family? Okay, well, I retract my last statement because <laughs> <laughs> we were friends, so I do consider us family, just not family enough to, like, take on the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but family to me is anyone there willing to, like, help you and listen to you and not, I mean, obviously, like, understand your faults and see your faults, but not apprehend you for them. Okay. Does that make sense? Can apprehend or reprimand? Reprimand? I think it's reprimand is what you're trying to say. I think. Yeah, probably. I'm not that great with words. <laughs> um, I'm just good with makeup. I, I know. Yeah, that's what matters. That's all that matters. Um, do you have, like, a funny story from your profession, like, doing this that, like, you do can I? think of? Do you have Apparently one she one? knows one I don't. <laughs> what, give, give, give us a clue. What, what, what? We're going to edit, right? Oh, we can add it. I, I'll, I'll okay. keep it in. We've got, we got Bree back here is actually hitting the play button for me so that I can do things. And she's being my little camera lady. And, uh, but what, 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 what story are you thinking I of? just think it's funny when you don't remember the song, you're going to, like, you picked it out and then you get, like, ready, like, five uh, minutes before you're going to get on stage. You're like, what song did I pick again? <laughs> you have to, like, replay it over <laughs> I just think that's funny. Yeah, I am bad at that. I'll. Or you're really last don't... minute and you don't pick a song. Five minutes before, you're like, oh. I really don't like plan before shows. So I kind of just like do the look and then I try to find a song that matches like the look. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> don't take my advice. It doesn't freaking work oh. half the time. Um, because I'll pick a song and then as soon as my music starts playing, I'll be like, wait, what song is this? How's the first part go? And then it's. Just go with it. Just go with it. I mean, it always turns out good. Don't get me wrong. But, yeah. <laughs> it's not the best uh, way to do things in this profession. Oh, no, 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 So it's not really a funny story, but I can tell you about the time I got bit on the lip by a turtle. You got bit on the lip by a <laughs> turtle. You want to hear this. Um... So anyway, when I was younger, living in the country, I had a pet turtle named Dudley that lived in our pond. Never came out of his shell. Would never, like, walk around. So I decided to take it upon myself to pick up Dudley and look in his shell to try to give him a kiss. This bitch comes out of the shell, latches onto my upper lip, and won't let go. I'm running across a field 
to my grandparents' house yelling for my dad, and he rips this turtle off of my upper lip. Next day, I walk outside, the turtle's hanging by its neck from a tree because my dad wanted to keep the shell. Like, you don't have to go that far, but it was a pretty shell. <laughs> Too flippin' fun. God rest your soul, Dudley. We do not Whoa. do the whole animal thing here. We're PETA friendly. Yes, <laughs> we are. We are. Hey, I said I lived in the country. Uh, I know. That's fine. Um, what's the best piece of advice that you've received from somebody? Scale my ideas back. Ha! You're going to go with what I said. It is, honestly, though. I always get... That's my I, biggest thing. I well, I say that to you because when Kayaka thinks of something, I love her. She she thinks here first. She's like, oh, well, I, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do this, and I'm like, scale it down a bit. She's like, well, I'm going to do this, and it's still like, it's still like I'm thinking million-dollar budget, like Lady Gaga, Beyonce. Fireworks. Yeah, fireworks, pyrotechnics, 19,000 backup dancers, the works. That's where the idea starts. And then you're like, now we're in Newport Ritchie. So it's like, <laughs> scale it down to Newport Ritchie. He's like, oh, okay. I'll scale it down for now since we're in Newport Ritchie. But once I hit LA or New York. There you go. There you go. Blow it up. That, then you'll have your rockets backing up dancing behind <laughs> you. And <laughs> I just want fireworks. You just want the pyrotechnics. And drones. <laughs> And the what? Drones. And drones. <laughs> one this day. Is a super, this is, what is it? The Super Bowl show. <laughs> yeah, with Lady Gaga. I swear, one day. Let's see. What advice do you have for anyone who wants to enter this profession? Think about it long and hard because it's a very long and hard journey. I mean, definitely there's people out there that are willing to help you. So you just have to ask them. I should really sit here and take my own advice on that one. Oh. Um, <laughs> So definitely ask for help. Um, it's, I don't want this to come off like harsh, but it's definitely not what it's all cracked up to be, but you can definitely make it fun. And uh, you can definitely make a new family out of it if you're not thrilled with the family you have. So you get to choose your family, which is what I personally love about it. Because I never would have met this lovely woman. Right yeah. Um, It's worth it. If it's something you like to do and you love it, chase it that's what my mom said to me when she left me at the airport <laughs> okay roxy spread your wing no when i moved here and she like went back home oh <laughs> i was like you got left at the bus stop you got left at the no my mom didn't leave me at you the got airport. left at the airport <laughs> spread your wings like just i'm just gonna drop you off right here at the airport she's like all right pray my job. <laughs> just pray um well, that does conclude our show this evening. Uh, thank you all for tuning in to All the Rage with me, Kevin T. Rage. Our special guest, Chaotica, here. Uh, if y'all get a chance, make sure you subscribe. I'd love more followers. Please, more followers. We need more followers. Uh, but other than that, that does conclude the show tonight. Good to see y'all. And other than that, Bye. we'll see y'all next time. Rage on. Thank you for having me. You're welcome.